This is a review for the Twisted Wave Audio Editor. As you can see, you have the waveform down here, including a way here to sort of slide around and navigate. You also have your sound bars here. Uh, you have a description down here of what the sort of uh, format is, such as 16-bit resolution of 44 100Hz. Up here you have your basic you have your basic rewind, play, fast forward, record, and also a loop button. Here you have undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out, and a vertical zoom. You then have normalize here, fade in and fade out of the audio, plus a volume which by default is at zero dB. Then you have your timings and then the info. Info here basically brings up your metadata so you can change if it's music or not, although for some reason you can't, it just sort of says that by default, but you can change the title, album, artist, year, genre, track like two of three or whatever, and a comment and add your album artwork there. Now, I'd like to show you that this is the latest version at the time of making this review, which is 1.13.1 64-bit. Let's have a look at preferences. You have your sort of standard preferences here where you can select what you want to do on launch such as an untitled document or don't open anything or open your last document. Opening files, zoom, you know, you basically very sort of standard settings here including uh, how frequently you want to check for updates. If you want to use their iOS app for a remote control you can enable it here. You then have editing preferences such as your scrubbing mode, you want to repeat the velocity, the position. Then you have devices here, so you can select input device, system default or manually select one such as say the built in one or you manually select your USB microphone, the default output or not. You can then select your buffer size, default's 512. I can't I don't really know about what best to select there so I'll just leave it at default. You can pass through the audio when recording so when you're recording you have the audio passed straight through to your headphones so you can monitor it. You can also select your channels there as well. That's okay. You then have file which is pretty much all your standard sort of settings, new, open, save as, duplicate, duplicate document. Then you have like show the info, uh, then you have analyze or batch processing so you can analyze which brings up all your data such as your DC offset, uh, your peak amplitude, things like that and you've got it for each of the individual channels plus global. You then also have your batch processing here as well to basically do a batch convert, things like that. You can also do batch like effects, like uh, I'd say a uh, normalization to 10 files or whatever there as well. And edit, again, the sort of standard options you expect, mostly like you undo, you cut, you cut, copy and paste, trim silences, and convert to mono if it's a stereo track, so let's just do that. There we go. Select has your select or and deselect or invert your selection you can detect silences from here you can move your playhead and stuff to the start to the end select a section and then move it to a different location you can also edit your selection and edit your cursor here you have markers you can place a marker so that's sort of hit here add marker hit about there add a marker or you can clear all your mark your markers Move marker from selection, uh, marker window, auto play, and it will list all your markers here. You can then go to audio and loop your playback, start your playback, start recording from here, although you can of course do it there. Check your input levels. So there you go. As I'm talking now, it's picking it up, and you can check your levels to make sure it don't go into the red. Then we can, let's just. Let's just untick that. You can get to your input device selection and output device selection from the audio drop down as well. Then you have your effects, which is also sometimes known as filters in other programs. So you can do your standard stuff like normalization, your amplify, you can do fades, 
you can insert silence, you can uh, change your pitch, use pitch correction, uh, convert your sampling rate. Now, one thing is missing here, which isn't a big problem with Twisted Wave, as a lot of other payful programs supply surprisingly lack it. That is noise reduction, Audacity. Audacity, the free open source program, has it, and so does Amadeus and Amadeus Pro, but Sound Studio and Twisted Wave and Microwave Audio Editor and some other payful programs don't have noise removal, which to me is a very key basic feature that all audio editors should have. So I would like to see that added. A workaround in the meantime if you want to use this editor or one of the others I mentioned that doesn't have it, you can go to audio units and if you have an audio plugin such as an audio unit or a VST plugin for noise removal such as a Acon Digital's Denoise which is a part of the Acon Digital restoration suite you can still use noise removal from within this program. The trouble is with that most of these, including the one I just mentioned, Acon, are pay for, and so so is this one here. The one I mentioned is pay for, and it is like finding a needle in a haystack trying to find any free noise removal audio units. You can also access the built-in Apple ones from here, and any others that you may have installed, including VST units as well. You can also create stacks as well. So, say you know you always want to apply three certain effects and in a certain order you can create a stack and just select that one stack instead of doing it individually which is quite a neat little feature. You then have view which is very basic sort of uh, zoom in zoom out that type of thing. Window basic again then your help menu. Okay I've actually recorded this audio directly into Twisted Wave using its record feature so let's play it back. Now let's apply some noise removal using a third party audio unit. Okay, now we can, let's see, right this seems to be a bit of perhaps just noise in between a sentence so why not add a bit of silence, might not really need it so long, let's try one, see what it looks like, okay that's a bit more normal, then let's just sort of grab the whole lot, normalise, um, one thing sometimes people do is normalize to I believe minus 0 0.1 then is it the peak or RMS value let's just try it like this okay now out of interest, I'm going to select that noise now that it's been sort of amplified a bit and let's try to remove it again. No, it didn't seem to really do much. Another feature here is speech. So we can select a voice, there are quite a lot although there seems to be a lot more females than there are males. Now let's just select something like, I don't know, this one. Then we can type in Okay, you can adjust the speech rate or pitch. Let's just preview. I'm not going to insert it, let's just cancel. So this is quite a nice 
Mac Audio Editor called Twisted Wave. It has a nice interface. I quite like its interface. I like its bar up here for navigating. Uh, it's not the only audio editor I've seen with that, but still, it can be quite nice to use sometimes, quite handy. It supports quite a lot of features, including surround. You can do quite a lot, like I say, including surround sound and check your input levels. The the only thing I really feel is missing is noise reduction or noise removal because you basically you have to basically buy a third party plugin to get that done. I would like to see a noise removal tool kind of like the one in Audacity in this. But apart from that it's quite a good with a nice interface. So you may want to go and check out their trial version from the website and give it a shot. So thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe. It's only take a few seconds and help me out a lot. Thanks.